Welcome back everybody to Hogwarts Legacy. Um, you can see I changed my outfit up just a little bit, uh, but not much. We're going to try to knock out maybe one or two missions in this episode. But the first one, hopefully we get to learn how to bust some locks. So let's go do that. Uh, up. Oh, that's where we're running. So, we gotta talk to Gladwin Moon. I think he's like the caretaker. Oh, I saw it. Where'd it go? There it is. Boom. You get as many of those as we can get. Uncover all the secrets. So I need to finish trying those. How would you like to learn the knockback jinx flipendo? Once you've completed the necessary tasks, come and find me in the greenhouse. Leave me alone, Professor. I mean, Professor Hottie. I don't know. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again. Oh, the friend. drunk guy is the uh, professor. Gladwin Moon, a Hogwarts caretaker, at your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. Mean drunk? I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. It was. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Do you see that curious statue over there? Yes. Watch what happens when that a lot. Light changes from day to night. Oh. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Ooh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? I Seems did it. The statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which, incidentally, can only be done at night. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. Okay, okay. Ever since that fateful day in the village. Those there we go. curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shape, no if you will, uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. Rebellion. This one took the form of a demigod. We're trying to collect that one for a minute. Guys. <gasps> yes, terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. Uh, those statues are demigodes. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. No way. My suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmede has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. That's me. Fearless. Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. No way. Perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. Um. Yeah, sure. I'd be glad to help you, Mr. Moon. Oh, I knew I could count on you. 
Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? <laughs> Alahamora, yeah. that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh. I sent you a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> and I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> mm. Oh, those were the days. Uh, now, you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. You're welcome. All right. Got it, coach. Uh, which one is it? Hello, Hamora. Oh. What? Use L and R to move the sparks and rotate the dials until both corresponding gears are activated to release the lock. Oh, got it. That took way too long. Well done! You're in! Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle, after all. Where am I going? Alohomora. Much easier. Uh, my dear Dot has been asking for after you. Perhaps I can convince her to stop in for a butterbeer and to join us. It's been far too long. When you're done managing, I wonder if you'd be able to part with a few of your plants or fragrant ones, even. Uh, hopefully. Not. Okay. Revenue. I don't know if I need to hide right now. Anybody in here? No? Okay. Oh. Revelio. Professor Fig, I am in receipt. I'm in receipt of your most recent owl, blah blah blah. blah. Ministry of Magic. Return to the moon. So, of course. Who can see me? Or South Tower cells, blah blah. I don't care. Oops. 
Too early. Damn it. Excellent. Got it. Alright. So I feel like sometimes those are getting a little harder. Oh, that's a level two. Alohomora. Come on. Got it. Don't see me. Nothing there. How are your students getting along this year? Rather poorly, I'd say. Is that so? We're raising a generation of coddled cape flappers. In you said it. Oh, there's another one there? You didn't see anything, right? This must be the prefect's bathroom. Easy peasy. That was a tough one.
if you see anything. Don't turn around. Revelio. I've been in here before. I knew I heard one. 18 to 50. Not even close. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. No shit. What's with all the students up here? What was that? Connie caught me. I'm going to let you answer. Oh, wrong. I got the one, hopefully. Oh, it's a level three. What was that? No. Oh. He's freaking out. Bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. What's this? Hufflepuff? The Ravenclaw? I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. I'm partial to Got it. Oh, shit. Um. The 
Just going for a book. All of the teamwork and uh, flying about and the golden snitch. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, Just I heading out. Don't worry about it. You saw nothing. That had better not be another student, I hear. Nope. Got it. Don't turn around. Oh, it's another one of these. I'll have to come back here. Candy. What up? Hello, Mr. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh, goodness! You're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. It's definitely uh, intriguing. Yeah. I'd like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. And I have something to offer in exchange for your assistance. Nice. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. No, right. is that it? Oh, and I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Nice. Oh, pretty tight. You need to attend beast class. Made it. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though yep. be advised, None of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. Now, yep. it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Hello. Poppy Sweeting. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! Miss Sweeting, oh, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here, you can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to.
Riches his experience. Bash. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? Uh, I guess. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, uh, I like delicious. to think. <laughs> I think we can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition and cleanliness. Good work, everyone. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? Okey this dokey. way. The measles are over here. Like big cats. Oh, couple of knees or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jeeks. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. What in Merlin's name are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. That's Persephone. Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. Yeah, punk. Those two don't belong anywhere near this class. Poachers in training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's brush. carry on. Feed okay. and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. Oh. There you go. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. It appears our time has come to an end. Please close the pens and see yourselves out. Now, where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment. Oh, shit. There you go. Hello, Professor. You wanted to speak with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? Oh, it's great. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly, which does not include torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Okey Professor. Dokey. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. It is. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be yep. on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. Sure. Hey, over here. Come on. What's up, Hal? Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. 
You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. It's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. Nice. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Uh, sure. You've intrigued me. Very well. Lead the way. I'd hoped I would. Where are we going? Oh. I wouldn't take just anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Yeah. Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. I think she likes me. <sighs> Quite the weather we're having, don't you think? Oh, small conversation. Poppy, where are you taking me? It really is much better if I just show you. Okay. Don't worry. We're nearly there. It's good. just ahead. I'm gonna take my broom. Stand back. Oh, look. Highway. Isn't she just magnificent? Oh, beautiful. Go on, introduce yourself to her. But be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. Um. Can we bow? Yep. Ah, bound back. Don't bite my hand. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. I'm her good brushing. Tell her what's oh, going yeah. on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her, but she's a dreadful busybody. Enjoy. Some... Whatever that is. Later. So, what did you think of High Wing? Uh, brilliant. I thought she was brilliant. I can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Mm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area. I did. So I worry they could get her again. And that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Uh, that does seem strange. Sounds as if they're planning something. Exactly. I think I'm going to look into it. You Find do that. out what's going on. What they're doing. Uh, I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. And the more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Yep. I'm sure we will. Awesome. 
Oh. Let me get some leeches. I think we'll pick up that one next. Uh, this was a little short one, I guess. But we got two missions done. So I hope you guys are enjoying. We got to meet some animals. And But again, uh, hope you guys are enjoying. Leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe. And check you later. Peace.